So about four years ago, I started a project that was a foundry for melting metal, specifically aluminum and brass. I made it out of this beer keg half. I filled this with clay and sand, and then used charcoal as the fuel and a bathroom exhaust fan as my blower. It worked pretty well, but it wasn't super efficient, and I ended up losing track of that project as I got into other different things, and the clay ended up crumbling, and this, that, and the other. So here we are again today. We're gonna rebuild it. I have some exciting ideas for melting down aluminum and brass and using that for both cast projects as well as just having the material to machine on and other things. What I wanna start with in this video is the burner. I wanna use a propane burner and there's a lot of designs out there for how to build a pretty simple propane burner that just utilizes natural aspiration and just a regular airflow and the Venturi effect to get a good hot flame that'll melt aluminum and hopefully brass. I've taken a lot of ideas from burners I've seen all over the internet. I'm just going off of what's out there and aggregating it into my own design. I fully admit this isn't uh, something I'm going to claim to be 100% original to me, just derivative of a lot of the designs and features that I see, and I just put it in a way that made sense for me to build. The body of this will be made out of common black pipe from the hardware store, and a reducer coupling, inch and a half to one inch. I also got some all thread for the orifice to sit in, more on this in a minute and some flat stock. The orifice itself will be a MIG tip, 0 0.025. I wouldn't say this lathe operation is entirely crucial, but it does help true up the surfaces on the reducer coupling. And well, I have a lathe. What I really wanted to do was clean up all the threads on the inside of the coupling, just so it was a little bit easier to work in there. Again, not entirely necessary, but it did help. The outside definitely didn't need to be turned down, but at this point I was just having a good time. I cut a piece of the steel flat stock to fit inside the large end of the coupling, and I'm spacing it off the very end of it with a washer held on by a magnet. This will hold everything together so I can weld the two pieces in place, and it came out kinda ugly, so enjoy these arc shots. Back in the lathe, I turned down those extra weld beads and kind of cleaned everything up, mostly because of my insecurity. The real point of this operation was to drill a hole into the center of that flat bar that was concentric with the rest of the coupler. Once that hole was drilled, it was tapped so that we could put our piece of all thread in there, but more on that in just a second. This all thread is half inch in diameter, and what we're going to do is turn a portion down to 3 eighths in diameter to fit in the threaded hole we just put in the reducer coupling. Totally stole this spring trick from Cactus Workshop. Go check him out on YouTube. Tell him I said thanks. I'm just going to keep adding threads to this. This is the hole that the MIG tip is going to screw into and become the propane orifice. The plan for the other end of the workpiece was to make it a male eighth inch pipe thread. That didn't end up working, so I ended up making it a female eighth inch pipe thread, and either way, I drilled the whole body of the piece through and through, making it a tube. The 
The last bit of lathe work was to turn down a big disc out of aluminum. This will more or less be a carburetor and allow for adjustment of the airflow to the burner. I'm knurling the outside just so it's a little bit easier to grip. This is always a little bit of a tricky operation, but it went pretty smoothly. The center of the disc is drilled and then tapped so it'll fit the all thread. This is probably the largest cutoff operation I've ever done on a lathe and man I love that power cross feed. With the fabrication done, we can start assembling the entire burner. Essentially what I'm doing is plumbing the gas from the tank through a regulator into a hose that goes to a cutoff valve that goes right up into the back of the all thread that we turned. These are also just parts I was able to get off the shelf from the local hardware store and I did have to play a little bit of Legos in getting just all the adapters and the correct fittings right. Now hopefully you can get a sense of how it works. The propane orifice blows the propane down the main tube, that piece of one inch pipe, and it drags air from behind it using the Venturi effect. That air is controlled by that disc riding on the all thread. That's the theory at least. Let's see how well it actually works. The flame it puts out is quite powerful and it's not incredibly stable and a lot of that is balancing the flow from the regulator as well as the flow of the air. I noticed a lot of other similar designs used a much shorter tube so I did end up shortening that one inch piece of black pipe and that seemed to help a little bit. I also wanted to experiment with different orifice sizes so I upgraded from the .025 MIG tip to a .035 MIG tip. Now please correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that when the flame is coming up off the front of the tube like this, it means there's too much air in the mixture and I need more gas. I decided to test this theory by ordering some even bigger MIG tips from .045 off of eBay and when they showed up I installed one and tried it out. The flame was noticeably more intense, although it was still a little bit unstable until I played with the regulator a bit. Now this just might work. With this burner done, we can move to the next part of the project, and that's to fill the foundry with refractory material. We'll also be building a little bit of a frame so I can move the foundry oven around. It'll be pretty heavy when it's all done, and I want to be able to bring it in from outside so it doesn't collapse from weather. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and be sure to follow me on Instagram for more constant updates of what I'm working on here in the shop and what's going on. If you'd like to directly support the channel, you can do so via Patreon. My patrons get early access to all my videos, as well as a monthly vlog and a sticker.